today guys i'm going to be sharing with you 10 different christmas cards from 10 different creators so i partake in a card swap and i'm going to share with you the 10 different christmas cards that i got in the mail so if you're interested in seeing these 10 different designs please do stick around welcome for those of you who are new to my channel my name is claudette with miss puff creative corner so let's jump in to showing you these beautiful card designs. So if you're into creating your own cards for the holiday, Christmas is almost here around the corner and you're looking for different ideas, you're stuck. This is would be an awesome video for you to look at because I have 10 different cards from 10 different creators to share with you today so you want to take note of the different color combinations that they put together the different card layout and the dimension textures that they add to their card don't mind that you don't have the exact thing that they use to create their cards just take this ideas and use whatever you have in your um, stash so the wonderful things about sharing is that you could create if you have the exact thing create the exact thing or put your own spin on it and it's nice to get different ideas so um so the first card that i'm going to be sharing with you this card is a top full portrait card this is so a beautiful look at the colors that she have here in this card i love she kept the same red throughout she used a hint of that light green that red and green looks so good together and she incorporated white into it so she have the base of her card is red okay and like i said is a top full top full portrait card and then she add a layer of white um cardstock on top of a layer of red cardstock so you could see a hint of that red border and you're able to see that red border because on here she used a uh, embossing folder to emboss and give those raised bumps so they add beautiful texture is nice touch to the the fingers and then on top of that she used this sentiment tag so, and this tag, it have stitching around here, and then you have the fishtail cut out on either side. And she add the sentiment, wishing you a festive Christmas. She also added some holly berries, and those berries are in the same red as the base of the card. So you pull in everything in together. And then she added some green, that light green um, for the leaves. So now on here, she have a strip of red cardstock underneath the polka dots and then she had the designer series paper uh the scrapbook paper here in red and white polka dots and she tucked a red strip of ribbon right behind that before she adhered it to the back to the top of the card and then she created a bow right she run it through the strip of ribbon and created that bow right there now she have a circle layer which is a low green is in green and it's the same green as the holly leaves and she add a white circle with the stitching so she brought that stitch in here and she incorporated here in this circle um cut out and that's in white and just use leave a hint of that green showing there so she added um a truck design she colored that it looks like alcohol marker she colored that in the same red as the cardstock and also the gifts she incorporated that same green again pulling everything in together and then some red there on the wheels she added some matte color raised um gems there and she have some ground hair she stamped some ground hair for the truck and then she pop, popped this up, let's see. She popped up the strip here with some dimensional, some dimensionals back here to give that uh, some added dimension. Isn't that a beautiful card? I really do like, love that card. And then in the inside, she added white card stock. She left it blank so I could put my own sentiment in the inside. She did stamp a truck in here 
and she just stamp it in one solid color so if I choose to I could go ahead and color that up if I would like so I could put my own spin on that I just love the color combination and the texture she add to this. So then the second card, so the second card is a side full portrait card. And now she used similar red like before so she carried that red throughout again she have a layer of cardstock here which is much smaller than the base of her cardstock she stamped that or she embossed that with an embossing folder in musical notes now the strip of white rectangle paper that she put here she rip that so you could see the different layers inside of that white cardstock making it look like snow she adds some metallic twine and she kind of twist it and taped it to the back of the cardstock now her images that she stamp she added some green green um it looks or whatever marker she probably used alcohol markers and added some flooring ground underneath her characters there and she also outlined her characters in that same color marker and then she stamped the snow in that same greenish blue marker or ink i should say and then she added some little for um snowflakes in that metallic um gold gold snowflakes and those probably came with sticky backs on the, those. And she added some little sticky adhesive, adhesive to the back to pop it up. We call those dimensions. So there's little sticky foam stickies there she added to the back of that. She incorporated red within the jacket and then the um, on the reindeer right there and those little decoration and the reindeer antler she added red so and then the sentiment is stamped in that same red pulling everything in together so that greenish blue is really a nice combination she have the white within there within this card this is really nice and adding that hint of gold so when you open it up she stamped the sentiment inside in black and she added some snowflakes on either end of the sentiment a really beautiful card so if you guys are new to my channel you like these kind of videos go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you could be notified when I upload my latest videos so now what she also did I wanted to show you guys this she um, included an envelope with it and she designed give me a matching envelope so when I give this out, and a lot of times I don't really like to gift out um, cards that people give me. I keep them and I keep them for inspirational ideas. So um, look, this, she put the reindeer hair, a little bunny. She adds some ground. She add the snowflakes to that. So she just put it in one corner here, right? And then she, the flap, she added some cardstock to the flap and she left just an edge of white hair. Most time when I um, decorate my cover my um, flap, I cover the whole thing. So if you have not as much paper or cardstock, you could just leave a hint of white out and it truly looks like a design. Whether she meant it that way, I, I'm not sure, but that's really still nice with the red and white. And it have some texture to that cardstock or designer series paper that she added here. And isn't that a nice combination? Really job well done. And also with her stuff, let's see if I find it. I want to show you the envelope that she mailed it in. So she mailed this in this clear envelope. 
see the little postage stamp so it made a beautiful statement when you got it because you're seeing um when she mailed it you, you've seen this like this through the clear um envelope so it's just oh it's like a little present you know and it gives such a nice presentation and then you also seen this to the back so that's how she mail it isn't it cool it, it's a little bit more you know you're gonna pay a little bit more for to get these little clear envelope but the presentation is really nice and I thought that was a cool idea and it just lifts your spirits you see this oh you know that is just so nice to get happy mail and the presentation so I really did like that So next, this one, we have a side fold portrait card, okay? A side fold portrait card. So now look, she used the base of her card stock is in white, and then she adds some green right here as a layer. Underneath that layer, she had created or cut out those little sentiment dies I showed we saw one earlier where it had the fish tails on either side, and then it see and then she put like three right here, so it looks like little bookmarks, right? So she have like little books right here. This look like little bookmarks coming out of a book, you could say, and then so then she have that stuck right underneath the green cardstock. Now she have the die cut gives different shapes here, and with different stitching here. So you could do your own. You don't have to have this particular die. You know, you could add different shapes if you would like underneath here, add one solid, you could add red, you could add little strips of red and white, space them out so you could see the green in between. So you don't really have to have this particular die. So you could have little dies that maybe have stitching on it and you know like this for instance and you could put different colors red and white alternate the colors so you and then keep a little space so you'll see the green in between so you could use whatever you have or just just cut by hand little strips and have the space in between now she stamped a stack of books um she looked like she colored those with alcohol markers she hand write words to the spine of the books, gingerbread, hot cocoa, candy canes. And um, so she colored that up. She cut out a gingerbread house and she put it on top of the stack of books. So that is just a genius idea, right? It's really nice. You put your own little spin of it on it and she stamp if you have a small little sentiment or what fun, she add a little sentiment because then that would be a whole empty space right there so that by stamping that in red it pulls everything in together versus if you had it blank it would be like oh something is missing right so it pulls everything in together and then on to the back of this she just does have the dimensionals to the back the foam little stickies to the back to let it pop a little bit more and then in the inside she have stamp in red this the season to be jolly and then she cut out this um, state right here I guess that's the state of Texas where she's from So now with this one, we have another top full um, portrait card. And look at this, this is a different, this is like a brick red that she used here. The base of her card is in white. She used this layer just with a little bit of white border showing. This card layer right here, she did use an embossing folder. And so you could feel that raised, you could look at the raised area, all right? She have a circle die cut out here and they have the stitching around the circle. Then she added, stamped the truck in that same brick red. She went ahead and colored the wheels like in black. 
she added the Christmas tree there to the back of it and that's like a nice little dark forest green she add the wishing you a festive um, Christmas in black and the gigam um, little bow that she created is black and white so that really pulls everything in together this is a nice simple clean card and I really do like that um, ribbon right there it just makes it right if it you didn't have the ribbon look at that it just pulls everything together you know sometimes you look at your card and you say man it's missing something you know and you just add a little what it is um, little rhinestones ribbon and it just makes a big a difference and then she left the inside of it blank so that gives me the opportunity to create put my own spin on it you know put my sentiment I could add a little another little um, stamp dies or whatever in the inside so really nice card okay so the next card is a side step card and this have um, the blues in there right you have she used designer series paper on this and then she adds some cardstock and this is an oval and then you have the white so she, that's the blue she seems like she put some wink estella on the oval blue because they have a little shimmer to it and then the ribbon she used used that as the like awareness ribbon she put to the back of that some little gems I don't know if those were rhinestone and she took a marker and colored those in to get that blue you could do that too as well and she add that same little truck that you know others have used but hers is in blue and she colored that up look and then she colored the little packaging instead of having a Christmas tree you have the little packaging and what's so nice about trucks when you have a stamp and especially when it doesn't have anything in the back you have some stamps that comes with the truck and it's uh, at, is one stamp and they have some stuff in the back. It's nice when it's plain, you could add your own stuff in the, the back of the truck. Instead of uh, masking off the area, you could add whatever you need to the back of the truck, right? And then she created a little tag here to and from, and she used a glue dot here, so that could be removable if I choose to do it. But on this side steps, car, um, card you could put it to sit on your desk and then she put a greeting here wishing you a season of cheer and then you could add stuff to the back here too if you want to write something there really fun right look at this really nice so she did her tag and she glued the truck onto that added a sentiment to and from if I haven't said that already and that is called a sidestep card and you could google these look on Pinterest you could check on um, YouTube to see how you could create these all right so number six all right we have a side full portrait card and this is another red hair. And this creator, she used, the base of a card is in red, and then hair, this right here is in, what I wanna say, what you call those. Um, so instead of using regular cardstock, she used vellum. So you could emboss vellum, guys, if you don't know that. She used the same, um, embossing folder with the musical notes and she embossed that with the vellum look at that isn't that beautiful it's different right so you could emboss on your embossing you could emboss on vellum paper she adds some little sequins here on there she add a strip of 
white cardstock and a lot of times you don't need to use a whole big piece if you have little scraps you could use those she stamped the musical notes here in red again pulling this red in from the base of the card and to make the one the card as one look finished she add a little wreath here in green she stamped merry christmas here in the middle And then she just left a little note on the different colors and cardstock and um, supplies that she used to create this card. So then she left the inside blank again, but she didn't put, I could put whatever color I want in the inside here to add my sentiment. So she left that so I could design the inside as I choose to. So the set number seven card now. So number seven is also a side fold portrait card. And look at this, this is so uh, different. Uh, this is like what, would you say this is like a periwinkle uh, blue? It is so gorgeous, right? And you, whether she's, it looks like she's, that, that looked like cardstock that she stamped those snowflakes in that color. So the base of her card is in white, okay? And then she add that same periwinkle blue here to the top of the white cardstock. Then she add the white cardstock here and she stamped. And here you could see say that she did different generation stamps. So this stamp here is a little lighter. This one here is a little darker. So you could stamp dark there, stamp off, and you get a lighter look. So that's a technique they call generation stamping, I be believe, you know, the people call things different. Then she have a circle die cut here in the same blue, pulling everything in together and she stamp her sentiment and she heat emboss this with white embossing powder. And that is so gorgeous on top of that blue. She adds some metallic ribbon in that color and you could see the shine in that and you could fringe the edges and that is so nice, right? She add the ribbon and created a bow hair. And then this, she did the circle. She um, popped that up with some of the foam dimension. And here she tells you of the, that blue is called Orchid Oasis. So that's that blue and that's by stamping up. She tells you the stuff that she used. And again, inside here is blank. I could um, design it however I would like. Beautiful. I just love those colors. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's just simple. It was not much to this, but it's just gorgeous. The colors, the colors combination that she used here. All right. So number eight, we have a side fold portrait card. And now with her, she used her, the base of her card is white, all right? And what she went, she embossed the whole base of the card. But before she embossed, she put a strip of green, which is a triangle shape right here, and then a strip this way, coming this way. And then she have the white exposed there all right so she add those on first then she put this whole thing in her embossing folder and then run it through her embossing folder machine so the green and the red and then the white you emboss it one time so you could see some of the embossing images got over here too all right then she add a square piece of that designer series paper or scrap paper and then she add a smaller white square here and just leaving that edges right there to frame out that um, stripe paper and then she stand some berries there and then happy holidays on there and then with this she also popped that up with some foam dimensions in here she add a red poinsettia and so I could um, stamp a sentiment here if I choose to and send that out so 
So we have for number nine, the nine card, we have another side fold portrait card. And now with this, she used a die to get those trees, like the forest. She added, it seems like a little red, I don't know if that's supposed to be a little birdie up there or leaves there and then she have one here. So I guess it's leaves, not a birdie. She had some red there, maybe just to break up that color a little bit. The base of her card is in green. And then she have the brown color, um, beige color here for the trees. To the back she add, it looks like some designer series paper with different color trees back there. Blues, you have some hints of yellow, orange. Then with the scallop oval die cut out here, she popped that up and some foam. She add the circle oval here, and then she um, said, she stamped a sentiment said, thinking of you. And it's kind of like that brown to pull everything in together. And you have that green, like the base of the card. Then in the inside, she did like a brown ink on that sentiment. And then she did add a white card stock in the inside. And then with this, she just add the ingredients, the supplies that she used to create her card. And that's nice that people put, you know, the, the effort and the time to send you the ingredients that they put this card together. I just love that they that take that extra steps. You know, that's not part of the rules, but some people put that in in there. So if you want to go back and recreate something like that, you have the instructions on what they use. And I thought that's so nice of them to do that. So our last card now, our last and final card is called an impossible card. Now, um, she created an impossible card and also a little gift card holder. And she put in here, like, you know, the directions or the measurements for the gift card holder. And then she said that this is an impossible card. So that's nice that she lists what kind of card it is. So if you need to look on YouTube or Pinterest for the particular card layout or um, fun full card, you may not know the name of the card. So it's nice that she lists the name of the card that she created so it's easy for me to look up so then I won't guess what kind of card this is. So let's start out with the gift card holder. So the base is that um, like greenish blue um, color. She add um, a white card stock here. On top of that she added this um, like gigam or a plaid, what you want to call that little designer series paper or scrap paper on top here. So she's leaving a hint of the green, the white out bo on the borders. Then she have some little scallop circle and then an, in the same green, again, that pulls everything in together. She have a white circle, just a plain circle, just leaving those scallop edges out. The sentiment is in the same green, again, pulling everything in together. A little something for you with lots of love for me. And then the gems, it looks like, again, is the silver rhinestone. And it looks like she took alcohol marker and colored them in in the same color as this to make everything pull in and match. Isn't that nice? Now let's look in the inside. So you have right here where you could put your gift card in. She put um, happy Christmas wishes here. She adds some Velcro here so it could be snapped and you won't lose your um, gift card, right? Such a nice idea on that. And then now for this impossible card. Okay, so she had that same green, but just in this pattern right here, she add a strip of white and she stamped wishing you a festive Christmas. So it's nice she put that little skinny little strip and it seems like it just continues and I like how it is, it cut off the edge right there. And then you have the rhino pulling the sleigh with all the gifts. Again, she incorporated the same green, the hue of that um, pink right there. And then she put some ground underneath him. So she incorporate all the colors, add a little um, 
brown to the little birdies the little birdies have air muffs little hats on and she incorporate that same little pink a raspberry color like a raspberry color i should say and i guess i wasn't sure when i first saw it if it was something you could stick on the top of a card of what but it's called the impossible card because it's just one um one piece of um card stock okay it's not no folded it's not like your traditional card where something opens or a little um you know it's just one flat piece that you'll add like a layer to right so she adds some layers to the white base and is in that pattern paper and then this is supposed to just stand up on your desk like that and i guess you could write to the back of this so that's different okay i never seen one like that before but that is different so if you guys enjoy what you see here today go ahead and give me a thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated so those are the 10 cards i hope you guys got um, some inspiration and creative value from today's video thank you guys for tuning in this is claudette and i would catch you guys on my next video